Gaming X, respect the tech, salute the gamers. Welcome to the Cloud Gaming X channel. What's up, Cloud Gamers? Welcome to the Cloud Gaming X channel. So, if you guys like the Nvidia Shield TV content that's been going on lately, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, share this video too. Um, it's really helpful for this channel, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. So, a lot of uh, you guys have been asking me to cover things and having requests, so I'm doing my best to make sure I cover those things in the comments below. So, if there's anything you guys want to see, definitely let me know. So, to get started, um, let's look at uh the display settings right you guys wanted to see what that looks like i'm also going to make a video showcasing the um sound settings as well so this is what the display setting looks like um again ai upscaling is one of them i made a specific video about this so you guys should be seeing that up on this channel pretty soon um so let's go here though so this is the display and sound so this is the resolution setting. Again, this is my monitor, so it's not the greatest. It's not my TV, so this is a 1080 monitor, 1080p monitor, so it's not the greatest. So, But you can use AI upscale and enhance. Again, I'm making a video on this, so you guys can definitely check that out. Um, so this is the power. This is pretty cool. You guys want to know, can this controller wake up the shield, turn off the TV and all that fun jazz? Yes, you can. And here is where you set all that features. Okay. Turn sl uh, sleep shield when TV is powered off. Sleep shield when TV is powered on. Turn off TV when shield sleeps. All this turn on TV when shield wakes. All this jazz. And so it's pretty cool, right? So IR is really interesting. You can come here and you can change your IR. So what this does um, is you can use this dedicated button on the new controller, this volume rocker, to turn on and off, turn up and down the volume. So um, let me see if I can do this here. I was able to do it for my Samsung. Uh, let's see if this works here. Let's give it a second. Did you receive, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's going to work, but let's try it. See what happens here. Okay, it says success. It's probably not going to work. Um, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not working here. Wait, let me just, I think this is another setting. Um, yeah, it's still saying Samsung. Yeah, so that's not working, but for my TV, my living room TV, this works. Um, and it's pretty cool to be able to control your TV with just this controller. All right. So I actually, let me go back and make sure I covered it all with display. Actually, why not just do sound on here? We'll do sound since they both in the same category. So um, let's look at the sound. Hold on. Events display. We're not done, sir. We're not done with display. So let's check this out. You can match content color, dynamic range, auto, limited, full. You guys see that right here? Okay. Um, custom display mode, current mode. And then you have, you can set your de default and you can do all the filter stuff and put that back on. Right. And then adjust over scan. We're not going to mess with that. So that is all the display sends right here. Showed you guys all of this. Showed you guys AI resolution in advance. So let's go to sound, volume control. You can mess around with this. Yeah, so this is just the normal. I had a set on my IR in my living room. Um, so that's what, you, so if you want to, if you set this up in Samsung TV or any other TV and you want to use this functionality of using these buttons to hide the volume lower, you would have to come in here and hit this like that, right? So that's what that is. Adjust uh, volume uh, with voice, increments of two, and you can change your IR setup here, but we're not going to go through all that again. Uh, system sound, I really don't know what that is, but we'll just leave it on. So audio video sync, 
use the slide bar to advance or delay audio timing to match the video. USB, if you were to plug in a USB, select it suited for audio devices, stereo, so just high quality sound. Play comfort noise and HDMI, double audio processing, available formats. So you can come here, again, doubly Atmos, you can come here and um, set it up. So you guys have been asking if Netflix has an option, a set menus to allow um, for the doubly Atmos uh, settings and they don't and i'll show you guys the netflix app is still the same and i'll show you that in a bit so stereo up mix that and that should be it for the display and sound setting so you guys have it all here so all those questions you guys were asking is to what work what doesn't work hopefully that clarifies it but for the netflix question if you can use uh double atmos on here as of right now, not that I'm aware of. I know AI scaling does work for Netflix, for those of you guys who are asking, because, again, in the living room, we were watching Karate Kids with it, and it worked really well. But um, that you can do by yourself by just clicking the menu button. Again, it's not going to let me. Uh, there you go. So if you click this menu button, um, you can do it on here. Right, so you don't actually need the Netflix app to do this. You just click this menu button right there, and it does this thing. But as far as like the, uh, it was taking some time. I, I think that this actually froze up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's actually stuck right now. <laughs> there we go. But let me open up Netflix again. All right, but as far as like settings, there's nothing here that um, so I had to cut that part out when I went to settings because it has my Gmail information and all that stuff. So I'm not going to do that, but I can guarantee you guys, you guys, when you get yours, you can check it out. There's no settings um, for for you to mess around with audio <laughs> on this Netflix app. It hasn't been updated for that. But again, just thought I'll show you guys that. And again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. All right, fellas, thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you in the next video. Till next time, peace out.